What's up guys, real quick video. I wanna show you this really awesome selection trick. So let's say we have a cylinder. Maybe it has like 100 vertices, right? And on this cylinder, we decide later on that it has a bit too many vertices, a bit too high poly. Maybe we wanna optimize it for a game or whatever. Um, this is a very simple example. What we could do is come in here, go to edge mode and then select, checker deselect, control X and then dissolve it out and we're set. So now we have a lower poly version and yeah, we're pretty much good to go. So it gets a, more com it gets a bit more complex when you have something like this, right? Now we have this boundary loop right here and you might think, well, okay, why don't I just go in here, box select this, box select this, and then run a checker deselect. Well, it doesn't work, unfortunately. I wish it did, but it does not. So we have to either do it this way do it manually on this one and then do it manually on this one which can be really tedious right just gonna take time then on this one you'll even have to offset it by one so just too much clicking for my liking there's a much easier way and it's with the machine tools add-on free you don't have to pay for it it's the add-on that allows you to hop in and out of object and edit mode I use it in all my videos and I'll link it in the description it's free I would recommend getting it even if you don't like it the the pie menu here then you can still use it for this trick so it doesn't matter so what we do instead is we select this upper portion of vertices right here and we're going to check or deselect this set of vertices, right? And then we're going to go to the tab key. This will bring us into the machine tools pie. We're going to control click on edge. And now what we have is exactly what we want. We just need to remove this boundary loop. So alt shift click to remove that control X. And this is a lot quicker. And then maybe if you wanted the effect like on the bottom, you wanted that chamfer, you might just run a symmetry or something like that. And there you go, you have a really, you know, a much lower poly version that you might want for a game, better scene performance, whatever you need it for. That is how I would approach something like that. So quick tip video, don't want to take too much of your time. Um, February Patreon stuff is coming out soon, so make sure you check that out. I'll probably put more info in the next upload. So. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.